it looks like for Prince Harry, we might be saying again, liar, liar, pants on fire. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph, the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much caught me eye, and oh my goodness, yes, let's jump into this madness, shall we, because I'm just asking for a friend here at this point, did Prince Harry lie about why he didn't meet King Charles earlier on this month when he was in the UK for the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games? Well, let me show you what I found. And you guys can decide on that. Are we going to be calling him yet again, liar, liar, pants on fire? Well, remember this uh, that occurred just before he came to the UK. So this was the headline that was coming out at the time. And this was actually from Hazza himself, his spokesperson, saying in a statement, quote, the Duke, of course, is understanding of his father's diary commitments and various other priorities and hopes to see him soon. Essentially confirming that, you know, whilst he's in the UK for the 10th anniversary for the Invictus, games he would not be seeing his very ill father king charles buckingham palace has remained very very silent about all of this even to this day uh but yes the 10th anniversary of the invictus games he was here for earlier on this month just before he then went to nigeria on that fake royal tour as far as i'm concerned but this is a thing what a difference a couple of weeks make because here is now the new headline. Oh, yeah. He was apparently offered a meeting with King Charles, but turned it down. Why? For such a stupid, dumbass idea. It didn't come with a security provision. Now, bear in mind, King Charles, you can imagine, is one of the most protected people on earth. When you go to one of his palaces, you are in one of the most protected places in all of this land. And Hazard rejected meeting his very sick father because it wasn't secure enough for him. This you cannot make up. This is absolutely insane. But yeah, reports are coming through that has a turned down an invitation by the king to stay at a royal residence when he visited the UK earlier this month because he had security concerns, it's being claimed. So instead of this initial statement, which was, you know, I do want to meet up with my dad, but he just doesn't have time right now because, you know, his dire commitments is absolutely full. Oh, no, no, no. It seems like the real truth is coming out now. And he was offered a meet with King Charles and he turned it down because of security concerns. So I'm asking for a friend here. Did Prince Harry actually lie about why he didn't get to meet King Charles this month? Are you guys going to be turning around and saying yet again to Prince Hazza, liar, liar, pants on fire? It's not looking good for him, is it, guys? But instead, he chose to stay at a hotel, presumably with members of the public, because it meant he could come and go unseen. A lot of royal family members come and go unseen from royal palaces. What the hell? Um, but it's reported that he's said to have declined his father's offer because it didn't come with any taxpayer-funded personal security provision, which would leave him staying in a visible location with public entrance and exit points and no police protection. Yeah. Um, that's pretty much the hotel that he was staying in as far as I'm concerned. People can go. Come and go as they want. It's a visible location. There's a public entrance. Hence, there's a hotel, right? No police protection there. What the hell? He thought it was much safer staying at a hotel rather than at one of the residences or palaces of King Charles. He's gone insane, guys, if this is true. Now, um, the outlet further maintained that Hazard remains devastated about the withdrawal of his automatic right to police protection, uh, which is still battling the Home Office over through the British Guards. He's, he's trying to appeal all of it he's going to lose but this is the thing right he's wasting as far as i can tell millions and millions of pounds on a battle he's just not going to win and even if right 
in an alternate universe, he did win this battle, he would become even more hated in the UK because the majority, when I look at the polls, are showing that they're not agreeing that Prince Hazard should have taxpayer-funded security whenever he, Megzi, and the kids come to the UK. We don't want to have any of our taxpayer money wasted on those absolute grifters. Are you kidding us? No way, no how. So even if he does win this battle in an alternate universe, really, in the grand scheme of things, he loses big time because all the criticism and all the hate will be multiplied like 100 times over because we don't want any of our taxpayer money to go to him. He can absolutely bog off him and Megzi. Hey, stay in California if they think it's safer there. Stay there. We don't want him in the UK. No wonder Megzi doesn't want to come to UK ever again. I don't blame her, really, to be honest. Uh, it's better that she stays away as far as I'm concerned because the majority of the UK... We don't like her. She only has like a 25% approval rating. 75% of us, yeah, we're not looking down fondly on her, that's for sure. Uh, but whenever he comes to UK, he has to give 28 days notice if he wants a security position, uh, provision with each request assessed on an individual basis by RAVIC, which is the committee that oversees protection of royalty and public figures. Something that he doesn't like, but this is the thing, right? He does have security provision as long as he gives Ravik 28 days notice and for them to review it to either say yay or nay to it. So he's acting as far as I'm concerned as, oh, well, you know, I turned down this meeting because, you know, there wasn't enough security provision, this, that and the other. Well, if he follows the rules and he applies 28 days beforehand, then he does have the chance and the potential to have that security provision that he wants in the first place so that he could then have accepted that meeting with King Charles in the first place. Not as far as I'm concerned, opinion, conspiracy, theory, whatever, lie and initially say, look, you know, I would love to see me dad but he just has no time for me at the moment because his diary of commitments is absolutely full and he's not able to squeeze me in. But then weeks later, it actually transpires, if this is to be believed, that, oh, no, King Charles was able to make space for his son and see his son, absolutely, but it was Hazard that turned it down because of a dumb, stupid freaking reason there wasn't enough security provision as to where King Charles would be to meet him at. King Charles, again, is one of the most protected people in this land. Where he is, those spaces, those residences, those palaces, one of the heavily fortified, protected places in this land. And if we're to believe this article, Hazza thinks that, oh, to meet King Charles in, in, in those royal residences, in those royal castles, oh, it's going to be dangerous, it's going to be dangerous. He's lost the plot. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course, there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Nerd tribe because I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever's. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions, do you think Prince has a lied? Are you calling him liar, liar, pants on fire yet again? Well, make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can't have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys, laters.